Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day or night and that you'll enjoy the video and thank you so much for watching. Ladies, some of y'all don't want to hear this, but it's got to be said. If the men in your life are treating you with disrespect, like garbage, like a second option, like they just don't really care that much to have you in or out of their life, that is on you. Because let me tell you something, we teach men how to treat us. And if you're allowing him to be disrespectful, he's going to think that that's okay. And if you don't have the confidence to walk away from any man who is being disrespectful towards you or set boundaries when needed, then he's going to walk all over you. Certain type of men that will push you to see how much you can get away with. You have to be okay with putting them in their place. Respectfully, of course. If they're not okay with it and they completely disregard your boundaries, that is when we leave. And it is entirely up to you if you want to put up with the bull. Okay, so teach men, respectfully, of course. Respectfully, you can't even teach each other anything else than how to be single. All you ever do is throw some words around, know your worth, set up boundaries, and to be honest, they have no meaning. Give us a few examples. What will be your worth? What will be those boundaries? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> sure. I just watched a lady going viral for her sleeping with over 2,000 men. Her worth and her boundaries must have been through the roof. You destroyed dating and you replaced it with talking stages, situationships, friends with benefits. So what exactly will be the boundaries and the worth when we're talking about foodie days, for example? Your worth is gonna be exactly the price of that hamburger that I'm gonna throw your way. Respectfully, of course. We're gonna say that I need attention because that's just not who I am. I'm a strong, independent batch. But I have gone 42 minutes without it. And I just think it's kind of disrespectful. Well, if it's gonna make you feel any better, don't worry, it's only gonna get worse. These 42 minutes will turn into 42 hours, 42 days, and you get the idea. But somehow, I think you already know that. That's why we started having things fixed around your face. For example, your lips don't even move when we speak. In time, no amount of plastic is gonna make any difference, especially since, you know, we recycle plastic. The only time we think about trash is obviously when we take it out. Why so many beautiful women can't be taken seriously by men? What's the difference from a tonight girl versus a forever girl? Hello, my name is Carla and restoring healthy mindsets is my thing. I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this, but someone needs to say it. Look, men know from day one what they want with you. We've established that. So how come some women are beautiful? They have the body, they have the face, but men won't take them seriously. They'll only want them for one night. That's because they usually know what woman knows their worth and which woman does not. You might be beautiful from the outside, but how are you showing it? Because it is very easy to be attractive and vulgar than to be attractive and elegant. Now, I'm not saying that if you show off skin, you're vulgar. That's not what I'm saying. But what I am saying, it is very easy to tell when a woman has confidence, knows that she's beautiful, but shows it with elegance, then know that she's beautiful and be vulgar. Because I hear it all the time, women complain. I have the body, I have the face. Why doesn't a man want to settle down with me? Well, baby girl, this does not have to do with anything of your outer appearance. It has to do from your inner energy. What type of energy are you exhibiting to the world? How's your mind? Do you think by showing more skin that makes you more beautiful? Because men, men know when a girl knows her worth. Men know the difference from a forever woman to a one night stand woman. And believe me, they choose wisely. So us as women need to start thinking about how we are showing our inner energy out to the world. Is it appropriate? Is it what we want to exhibit to the world? Because if we don't, that's okay. We can change that and fix that. But first we need to recognize that we might be wrong, that we might be vulgar, that we have a lot of inner work to do because not everything is about the outside appearance. Well, no, it's not. And you're not wrong either. But I just wish you would stop throwing words like word, energy, and all that. Men will choose a forever girl against a tonight girl based on the word that you're gonna bring into my life. Not because of whatever you think your worth is. The difference between a forever girl against a tonight girl is what you have to offer outside your looks. Unfortunately, these days, it's nothing. All you have to offer is your body and plastic surgeries. Like the lady from earlier seeking attention every 42 minutes, all that worth and that energy is gonna turn her into a tonight girl. And it's that exact mindset that it's keeping a lot of them from turning into a forever girl. When we get married, there's no such thing as divorce. You're tired of me? Go to bed. We'll try again tomorrow. 
<laughs> well, yeah, for four ninety nine a month, yeah, we're gonna try that again every day for the next 30 days. But when we get married, you must be high on something, because that's not gonna happen. Taking care of children is a full-time job, and yes, that is why people get paid to do it. If a man goes to work all day and he comes home and he thinks that his stay-at-home mom wife hasn't done enough cleaning or enough around the house, then he should do it in the evenings because if it's that easy, he should be able to do it after work. If he says, oh, but I'm tired, I can't do it in the evenings. Well, a stay-at-home mom is also tired because she has doing the full-time job that other people get paid to do of taking care of children all day. I wonder if they realize how stupid they sound when they say things like that. As a father myself, all I can say is boo hoo hoo and start laughing. What age are we talking about exactly? When they're toddlers, all they do is sleep and eat. Later on, you take them to a daycare for at least four hours a day. But then you have to come home and do laundry. Yeah, that will take another five minutes of your day. Outside of daycare, they're playing on a blanket in front of you while you watch them and also watching TV. And as the great mom you sound you are, whenever they get hungry, you're gonna throw some fast food in front of them because you're too great to cook. They get older, they're gonna be in school for 4-6 hours a day and you're gonna give them some money to go to McDonald's because again, you're too great to cook. And yes, I know it's harder than I make it to be, but at least you're there for their first words, for their first steps and pretty much for first everything. Most men will give up everything just to be there for that and all you do is complain about how hard of a job it is. So I just heard this and I have to share it. Accusations are confessions. Do you agree? No. No, I don't. I don't even know what accusation means and I still don't. Even Google Translate said that language has not been invented yet. If you meant accusations, I still don't agree. I know you would like it to be the case, but no. I went on a really great first date. Like I literally hopped out of bed to make this. The creator just said she went on a really great, amazing first date. They had such great chemistry. And then he ghosted her three weeks later. And I've been in this situation before. Many, many times I've lost a first date being like, oh my God, it's over, game over. I'm off the market. I'm changing my last name. Goodbye. And then I never hear from them again. And it's devastating. But then I started to realize that when I go on first dates, I present the best version of myself. Like I have my jokes ready to go. I'm like, yeah, Gossip Girl's based off my life. Mm, I have a successful car game business. And yeah, my mom is Argentina. I got a pretty perfect You know what I mean? A first date doesn't tell you about a person. Like it just doesn't. Like you don't know them yet. So the way that I've stopped getting super attached after a first date is this. And I literally swear by this. You always have to be dating three people at a time. I'm running out of time, but what it does is it chills you out because you're getting attention from different people. You're not putting all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> Now, this is an advice that I support 100%. Getting ghosted, I agree, it's devastating. You should be dating three people at the same time, and I cannot wait for you to get ghosted by three people at the same time. All right. Take care now. Bye-bye, then. Loser. Yeah, so let me get this straight. We're supposed to call men loser just because they don't want kids, but at the same time we're supposed to be celebrating women that don't want kids. Yeah, sure. No, it's all about personal preferences. You have yours, he has his. Just because he doesn't want kids doesn't make him a loser, just as much as it doesn't make you a winner for being a single mom. Stop going for men you can't get and try dating someone who will accept you as a single mother. Even those are slim chances, but as you can see, there's not a line of millionaires waiting to date you. Just a friendly reminder that if you don't get men, it's because you're hot and you're intimidating. Yeah, that's why they don't want to come up and talk to you. Thank you next this is what social media did to some of these girls. Hot girls cannot get a man, you must have a thousand men waiting to date you. All these four or fives thinking they're gonna date men that are eight, nines, just because they get a hundred DMs a month is just unbelievable. Princess, I would be surprised if the parking boy is gonna be willing to park your car and you're talking about being hot. But at the same time, it's probably nice to live in La La Land. Thank you. Next, when's the last time you said that to someone in real life, not on Instagram? Oh, Oh yeah, when you were taking orders at the drive-thru. Wait, 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 w
All right, then that's gonna be it for today. As always, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you didn't, I still appreciate you for making it this far. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next one.